We'll go to our map, go to our task, destroy the radar. So we have the radar, kill the officer, destroy the Tigris, destroy the ammo box, and clear the area. Today I'm going to give you a code that will enable you to display pictures in your tasks. So here we have a little mission and we have four objects. We have an officer, an ammo box, a radar, and an anti-air armored vehicle. The fifth object is going to be of an area. So what we're going to do today is create five tasks. We're going to go to F5 systems. We're going to go to Intel and we're going to place down a create task module right about here. Then we're going to place down a set task state module right about here. And then we're going to sync that to the create task state module. And edit this module, set it to succeeded. Then we're going to edit this task. So the owner of the task is going to be Blue 4 because that's who's playing. We're going to give each task a task ID. So we're going to just type in TK as task, short for task. TK1, we're not going to do a parent ID. And this first one is going to be kill the officer. And the description is going to be locate and eliminate the officer. He is the leader of the terrorist group. We're going to disable that. We're going to leave that as it is. Then we're going to set this to kill, which is down here. That's it for the task for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, press control C, and then we're going to set this up for the ammo box. So this is going to stay as it is. We're going to edit this one. We're going to make this task two. And this one is going to be destroy the ammo box. The description is going to be locate and destroy the ammo box. It is being used to supply the terrorists. All right, everything else stays the same except for this. We'll just make that destroy and hit OK. That's it for that. And we're going to go to the radar here. We're going to put the task rate right about here. The set task state will stay the same. This will make uh, task 3. And this one will be destroy the radar. And this one will be locate and destroy the radar. This radar is used by the terrorists to detect enemies, period. All right, so this one will be set to destroy. And just hit OK. That sets that up. Then we have the anti-air. We'll paste that here. And we're going to edit that. that. And we're going to set this to number four. The title for this will be Destroy the Tigris. And the description will be Locate and Destroy the anti-air tigris as it is the enemy's most powerful anti-air and this one will be destroy and hit okay that's it that sets up that task and then our fifth task is going to be an area and we'll just put that in the middle here and this will be number five and this one will be clear the area for the description we're going to put clear the area of enemy presence and this will be yeah Kate killed and that's it all right so that sets up our task let's save that now that we got the task set up what we're going to do next is we're going to create pictures of each one of these tasks so we're going to start with the officer, and we're just going to take a picture of him. So we're going to place him right about here so he has a, a background. Actually, let's go like this. This might be a better spot.
basically what you do, turn off your overlay, and then to keep it simple, just press print screen on your keyboard. So I'm going to press print screen, and you're going to see the, the line at the top. And basically what that does is it'll create a PNG picture and it'll put that picture into your ARMA3 directory. So that's going to be one picture. Next we're going to take a picture of the ammo box and right here would be fine. So here's the ammo box. And we'll take a screenshot of that. So press print screen, turn off the overlay and then press print screen. That's the next picture. And then what we'll do is we'll take a picture of the radar, which we'll do from this angle. That's pretty good. Press print screen. And then we'll do the anti-air. That's nice. And press print screen. And then for the area, for the overhead map, we're just going to go like that. And i we'll just take a picture of this, kind of just the overview of the area, and press print screen. All right, so now we have our five pictures. So let's go to the uh, scenario folder and then to the ARMA3 directory. Currently, we are in the mission folder, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder in here, and we're going to name this folder Images. You can name the folder whatever you want, but this is going to be the folder that you're going to put these pictures that we took into. So I'm just going to name mine images. You can also name it pics or etc. Doesn't matter. All right, so now that we have an images folder set up, we're going to go to my ARMA3 directory and we're going to scroll down in the directory and you're going to see our five pictures. So we're going to take all these pictures that are PNGs and move them to the image directory just like that. So the, the images should be in there and I'm just going to delete all these because we don't need them and close the directory. That's it for that. So now we have all these pictures. Now with the code that I'm going to give you guys today, the PNG format of these pictures will not load into the task. You will not see these pictures. So how do we get this to work? We have to actually edit these pictures and change their formats, their extensions, PNGs to JPEGs. Now it would be easy to just do this, change it like with JPEG, but it actually that doesn't actually work either because it's not actually being saved as a JPEG and I'll show you how to do that. But before we do anything, let's name these pictures. So let's name this one OF. Now I would suggest keeping the names of these pictures short and small. So that's one. This one's going to be ammo. This one's going to be radar. This one's going to be AA as in anti-air. And this one's going to be area. We have our pictures named. What I do is I'll right click them. I'll go to edit which opens up paint. And all you need to do here is just go to file and then go to save as and then save as a JPEG. What you want to do is locate your mission. So mine's under Tanoa. And we want our pictures in the images and we just hit save and we just can close we can close the paint. So now we have a picture of a JPEG and a picture of a PNG. So we just delete the PNG and we'll do the next one. So we'll edit this one in paint. We'll go to file and then save as and then save as JPEG. Just as it is, it's already the folder for the mission's already open. We'll just hit save. We'll close this. Delete the PNG and we'll do the area PNG. Edit that. Go to file, save as JPEG, and it's fine. So just hit save. Close this. Delete the PNG. We'll do the officer. Right click, edit him, open up him, him in paint, go to file, save as, save as JPEG, delete the PNG, and the last is the radar. Right click, edit, open it up in paint, go to file, save as, and then go to JPEG, 
and save it as a JPEG. And then we can close this and delete the PNG and that's it. So now we have all five pictures for our tasks. We're just going to leave this open for a moment. We're going to start up a notepad document. And this part, I'm going to give you guys a code. Now, this code is actually not SQF or ARMA3 code. It is HTML. Let's hit enter and go one line down. And we're basically just typing the code in a notepad so we can see what we got. And we're going to create five iterations of this code once we get one. And I'm going to show you how this works. So just follow along. All right. I will post the code in the description of the video that way you can copy it a less than greater sign img space image and then equals and then space and we have an apostrophe and then we have images backslash and then our first task our first picture is going to be a jpeg of of.jpg and then that's going to be apostrophe after that. And then space, we're going to type in width. And then equals space apostrophe 390. And then apostrophe again. And then space. And then we're going to go height equals. And then space, we're going to go apostrophe again. And this is going to be 270 and I'll end it with apostrophe backslash and then a greater than the sign let's review the code this here is important this is what you need to know this first line is the folder for the images which is this and the second part is the picture which is our of officer picture so just remember that if you name your folder where you're going to put your images like the word picks you could do that just make sure that that is in the code so just make sure that whatever you name this folder is in the code here and the pictures are defined in that code but we're not going to do that so we're gonna make it images because that's what I named my folder so what we're gonna do here is we have the officer JPEG already so we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna make five iterations of this Why are we doing five? So we don't have to keep typing the code. So all we have to do is change the image. And so this next one is going to be of the ammo. So we'll just type in ammo. The next one is going to be the AA. The next one is going to be the radar. Make sure you spell your picture name correctly, otherwise it won't load. And this last one is going to be area. And that's it. So now we have five codes that we could use. So let's take this first code, press Control C, and we're going to go back in the mission and we're going to put it into the task. Get back in the mission. So what we're going to do now is the first task was the officer, and that's what we have the code for. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your create task module, and after your description, which is this, just give it a space and press control V and yes the code is going to be under the description after that that's all you have to do if you want to test it out and see how that goes let's save that and let's test it out and see what it looks like we just go to the map we'll go to our tasks and kill the officer was the first one and here we go so we have the title kill the officer we have our description and we have a picture of our officer. How cool is that? Let's do the rest of the tasks. I'm gonna grab the codes. Alright, so I have the code for the second task for the ammo, so I'm just gonna edit this and hit a space, press Control V and hit OK. And then the third one I'm going to do the radar. So I'm gonna edit this and grab the code real quick. In the task itself, press Control V hit OK and the next one is going to be the anti-air so I'm going to edit this get the code a second just press control V hit OK and the last task is the create task for the area 
And same for this one. We're going to grab the code for that. And we're just going to kind of space this out so it's below the description because that's where you want it. And we just hit OK with that. We'll save that. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So we'll just hit play. We'll go to our map. Go to our tasks. Destroy the radar. So we have the radar. Kill the officer. Destroy the Tigris. Destroy the ammo box. And clear the area. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you find this useful and I want to thank you guys for watching for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist. Mm -hmm.